Hey everyone, Brianne Kellanen here. I want to go over something that I get asked about all the time, which is just estrogen detoxification in general, but when to use sulforaphane, which is the BRCA Protect product from Design for Health, when to use DIM, and when to use our new calcium deglucurate in terms of estrogen dominance type symptoms. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're just going to go through um, a really great picture that was just taken from a screenshot of the Dutch test. So bear with me here. Okay, here it is. So really quickly, we're just going to review estrogen metabolism, which essentially is phase one and phase two detoxification. So just a brief review. E1 here is your main estrogen. This is your estrone, as well as you have your E2, which is your estradiol. And E1 goes through phase one detoxification. And that's where we see 2-OH, 4-OH, and 16-OH being developed. And of course, the 2-OH is the protective healthy estrogen. That's where we want our pathway to primarily go down. We want that the biggest ratio. E1 can also go through phase one detoxification to form 4-OH and 16-OH. 4-OH here, if it's not methylated, if it does not go through this comped pathway and become methylated and excreted, it can cause DNA damage. These are adducts that are forming, and this damages DNA, which, you know, we all have DNA damage, and fortunately, we have protective mechanisms in our body to help repair that damage. But if it's overburdened with too much damage, that's where it's becoming an issue and increasing risk for estrogen-dependent cancers. 16-OH, on the other hand here, this can go into estriol, E3, and become excreted. If that happens, that's all great. But if it doesn't happen, this is where you can see things like heavy periods, breast tenderness, clotting, and increased cancer proliferation if you have it, which is not something that you necessarily want. No one wants proliferation to be occurring if they have an estrogen-dependent cancer. So this is something that you really need to pay attention to. Phase two detoxification, Oh, it sort of got cut off here, but if you if you see the Dutch test blown up, this is where it goes this way down to the left through the COMPT enzyme. You want to make sure that the patients don't have issues with COMPT because if you have a COMPT snipped, that's going to affect your COMPT enzyme, and then you're not going to be able to methylate as well to get out your estrogens. And there's things that you can do to actually support COMPT. So why don't we start there? Things that you can do to support COMP are magnesium, B6, as well as SAMe. So those are your methylated B vitamins, your TMG, everything here to support COMP going down that way. Now, what can you do if, if you notice that your patients are going down this 4-OH pathway? Well, you can support COMP1, which we just talked on, but you can also help here by using sulforaphane because what sulforaphane does is it increases quinone reductase activity, which helps with the DNA pair repair, and it also increases glutathione. So here you can use sulforaphane. You can also use glutathione. Sulforaphane is also great here, working on the 16-OH pathway. The BRCA Protect product, is amazing because it has my rosinase in it, which helps activate the sulforaphane. I use sulforaphane in a number of my patients with estrogen dominance. I love that it's food-based. And you know, if someone has an estrogen-dependent cancer, you might go up to three calves a day. And you know, it's food-based, so you could even do higher. For general maintenance, typically one to two is great. The uh, Glutathione is amazing because it's liposomal. You squirt two pumps in your mouth. It'll absorb through your mucous membrane. That is the really hard part with glutathione is getting it to be well absorbed. And the one that DFH has, the taste is really not an issue as well. Um, it is a little bit sulfury, but I find that it's masked really, really well. And I love that it's transparent because when your glutathione is transparent, you know that it's small particle size and the smaller the particle size, the better absorbed it is. So our liposomal glutathione is really awesome. The sulforaphane is great for over here. And then when you use DIM is when you have elevated levels of E1, and you have elevated levels of 4-OH. You don't wanna use DIM in someone who has low estrogen because it can lower it more. So DIM is really indicated in those with healthy estrogen levels or elevated estrogen levels. It helps to improve this ratio. Now I wanna to just touch on phase three detox, which is essentially just when your estrogens go through phase one and phase two, and they are sent into your digestive system to be eliminated through the bowels. If you have elevated levels of enzymes, specifically from gut dysbiosis, that's elevated levels of beta-glucuronidase, which you can test through the GI map or another stool test that you have access to. If you have elevated levels of beta-glucuronidase, that's going to recycle the estrogen. 
So that's when you're going to use the calcium deglucurate. It's a really great um, liver gut support, which will definitely help to reduce that estrogen recycling. Big review, phase one mover is going to be your DIM. Phase two, you wanna support COMP. It's actually COMP, not MTHFR, that's actually helping with removing these two OHs through methylation. And that you can support COMP with SAMe, P5P, which is B6, magnesium, methylated B vitamins, TMG, all those great phase two movers. And then your liver and gut helpers are gonna be your calcium deglucurate, your sulforaphane, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but sulforaphane can increase glutathione levels in a dose-dependent manner, which is great. Glutathione, curcumin, NAC, all those really great things to um, help with the liver and gut support. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, that was a brief review on estrogen detox, as well as when to use DIM versus sulforaphane versus calcium deglucurate. Okay, guys, we'll talk soon. Now I don't know how to end this. End meeting. Stop recording.